There are way too many Hello Neighbor games and renditions of alphas and all that crap, but which of them are actually good? Whether or not you've played them before, this is going to help you figure out what Hello Neighbor games are worth your time. With the official Hello Neighbor games tier list, everything from hide and seek to the Hello Guest prototype, let's get started. I think I'm going to do this entire episode in ASMR. <coughs> oh my gosh, we have so many. I think there's like 16 of them here. Good grief. Lauren? All right, first up, the original full release of Hello Neighbor. Oh, that's a tough one, actually, because nostalgia is going to cloud my my perspective on this. It has a ton of bugs, and it has uh, Act 1, which is beautiful. Uh, Act 2 is okay. 3, garbage. Terrible. I hate it. Box stacking. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to put it probably at B tier. I don't think it deserves to be higher than that, even though there's a quite a bit of good, there's a whole lot of bad. All right, this is Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 1.5, the Halloween update of Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 1. It had a lot of really good expansions from Alpha 1, and it was a ton of fun, and it had the spoopy vibes, and also the introduction of all of the delicious candy bars, like the Laugh Nun, and what, what was another weird one? A Chudman's Bar, that's my favorite, that's what it was. <laughs> I have a lot of really good memories of that. I think that's part of what helped explode this channel, so I'm gonna totally let nostalgia cloud my memory, and I, I think this is gonna be an A tier. Absolutely. Quick break from me in the future. If you're enjoying this, please give it a like so I can feed my family. Thanks, bye. Hello Guest, the uh, full release, which is like a Hello Neighbor 2 pre-alpha, uh, not the Hello Guest prototype, but the finished release was honestly worse in a lot of ways. I, I think that's probably a D tier. It, it was not very good in my opinion. A lot of people are nostalgic for it and like it a lot, but it was kind of a pain in the booty. You got the bird man chasing you around, grabbing you by the butt or whatever from behind. It just not a good time. And they had that weird shop where you would earn money from working, but if you let the vandals kick the condemned booths, then you would just lose money. I don't know. I wasn't a fan, honestly. Hello engineer. Um, no thanks. It's going at E tier. Uh, there are some of you that like Hello Engineer, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, you're wrong. Your your opinion is invalid. Go die. Hello Engineer doesn't deserve to exist. It's been out for years. The first place they released it was Google Stadia. So, if that tells you anything at all. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like most people agree that Hello Engineer is bad. I have the occasional person comment be like, Play Hello Engineer, please. Wait, can I can I use your glasses for this real fast? tripped over my cooler. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I look so stupid. <laughs> Play Hello Engineer, please. I really want to see you play Hello Engineer. I love Hello Engineer. Shut up! It sucks! I think your glasses are broken. They made they made things more blurry. Do you just live like that all the time? Just seeing blurry? Secret Neighbor. S -tier. Do I even need to explain myself? I don't think there's anyone who dislikes Secret Neighbor. I mean, except for maybe Lauren. You don't really like Secret Neighbor, right? You have to scream. Scream louder. Do you like Secret Neighbor? Yes! You do? I thought she didn't. Well, I guess I was wrong, or I was right the first time. Literally everyone likes Secret Neighbor. It's a perfect multiplayer experience, the best imposter experience. It's just great all around. I think it's honestly pretty close to perfect, especially with the last big update. And then we have the Hello Neighbor pre-alpha. Oh. Oh. Everything about this was beautiful. The AI, the uh, the original house design was super fun. The black light with hiding the secret code behind the paintings. What? I wasn't moaning, that was a nostalgia. Ah, memories. I wasn't a moan. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> Where was I? The way that the house would change as you were exploring it was amazing. He'd plant bear traps, he would even board up windows. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but for like a pre-alpha, in a lot of ways it was better than the finished game, which is sad. I think it deserves an A tier. Just because of lack of content and some of the serious bugs in it. But that brings us to Alpha 1, which I think is an easy A tier. It built on the pre-alpha's art style, which was somewhere a really good balance between realism and cartoonish. It just looked beautiful in my in my opinion. There were so many things you could interact with. The house was way bigger and you could beat it. There was like the core mechanic you'd do to just quickly beat it, but then you could explore for like hours. Then again, if you'd play it for hours, the amount of security cameras and bear traps that would pop up would literally make it unplayable. <laughs> but you know what? It was an alpha, so I'm gonna give it some grace and give it and, uh, and absolutely. Alpha two. Oh my gosh, this one was really good too. It was pretty small. There wasn't as much to it, but it was, and they kind of started to lean into the cartoony style, which I'm not as big of a fan of, but the actual mechanics and gameplay, the fact that they 
integrated multiple ways of completing it was super fun. I, uh, I feel like this one was bestowed a kiss by God himself. It was, it was glorious. I think I'm going to put it in an A tier just because it's, it's a little smaller though. It doesn't have quite as much stuff. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. Alpha 3. Ah, yes. I love how it was nighttime and pitch black 100% of the time because they didn't bother to finish programming the day-night cycle before they released it. Terrible. The, the, my least favorite house of all time, uh, my least favorite time of day for the game, and all of the puzzles were somehow even more difficult. Um, I, I think I'm gonna have to put this at an erm, no thanks. Alpha 4? It's like Alpha 3, but better? Still kind of poopy. I do like how Mr. Peterson's like, ah. it's like he's regretting everything. Like, why did I make my house so big? <laughs> Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 1. This was incredibly good. I was so excited when this came out because it was totally different than Hello Guest. I honestly feel like the Hello Neighbor 2 Alphas a lot were better. A lot of people prefer Hello Guest and think, oh, they abandoned such a wonderful idea. But I really think that these were actually pretty top tier. I think this is going to be B tier because it's not quite as good as Alpha 1.5. Hello Neighbor Search and Rescue. This is a tough one because I love this game, but it had some really serious bugs. I haven't even picked it up in a while because I got so annoyed by it. I've heard they fixed it and even even made the graphical um, settings and stuff a little bit more optimized on the MetaQuest 2, which is what I was playing on. Of course, graphics are a lot better if you're playing through something like Steam in a wired connection, but I enjoy that wireless experience. I think it's going to have to be an A tier. It was inc- uh, eh, No, I think it's going to have to be B tier. It's just, I just don't enjoy VR, I think, as much as the others. It's an incredibly well-made game, but if you look at actual, like, ingenuity most of these really cool mechanics are things that have been in vr games for quite some time so i don't know i think i'm gonna have to go with a b tier hello neighbor 2 playtest uh, i don't know why people ask me to play this for so long because it literally takes like three seconds to beat it's 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 kind of cool visually but there isn't much there c tier hello neighbor 2 playtest this was um i this a lot of people say gesundheit no, you're fine. A lot of people say that this was like the true Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 2. I disagree because it looks different. <laughs> I don't want to believe that, even if it is true. I wasn't a huge fan, honestly. The jump scares were hop startles, is what I've heard a lot. And it's 100% true. Someone sees you, they're like, you run up and touch them and they do this. It's like the most delayed, boring jump scare of all time. What? I'm imitating a hop startle. Honestly, I think it's D tier. I know there are some secret things you can do, like burning stuff down, but just waiting for Mr. Peterson to come check his car, the, the, it, everything about it's so clunky and poopy. I'm not a fan. And I'm like speaking directly into the mic, so hopefully this isn't coming through like- The Hello Guest prototype. This was a ton of fun. It was incredibly unpolished, and there were just like flat, untextured objects everywhere. But the, you have to give the actual game idea credit because it was super unique to the point where it was hard to figure out. But once you figured it out, it was super cool. And then you get to the end and it bugs out and you can't, you can't complete it. So that was awesome when that happened on a live stream. Totally didn't shut it off and cry for hours. I think this one's going to have to be B tier because it, I don't need to explain myself to you. And I made my own cover art for Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 2 because it doesn't exist. No, don't go into Erm No Thanks. I am nostalgic. I remember when I saw that trailer and I peed myself with joy and ecstasy. Huh? It was beautiful. I wanted Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 2 so bad. We all do. That's why there are like a million renditions of mods and things trying to, trying to replicate it because it was beautiful. And maybe it is nostalgia, but I don't really care. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I love it. I love it. I think it's got to be an S tier. If it was like Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 1.5 expanded into an actual fully explorable area with different characters, if that was legit, the I my idealized Hello Neighbor 2 Alpha 2 is an S tier, which means we actually have a pretty even split. Do you disagree with me? I don't give a crap. Just kidding. Let me know in the comments if you do. <laughs> and you know what another thing people are going to say? Lauren, I need those glasses again. All right, I won't make you go blind again, I promise. Isn't this what people do with glasses? They're like... <clears throat> oh, yeah. Erm... Um, what was I gonna say? Erm, oh, yeah. um, you forgot the betas. Um, there's lots of betas you forgot to put on the, uh, tier list.
They're not worth mentioning. There's like nothing different about them. Shut up! I hope you guys are enjoying the more laid back style. I'm, I'm tired of being like a hardcore gamer. I just want to screw around on this channel a little more. If you enjoy it, please let me know. That's like the third comment call to action I've had today. You guys better do lots of commenting. I mean it. I have my eye on you. I don't know. Does that seem like a good ending? Should I add something to it? Yeah, no, I'm calling it quits there. <gasps> Bye! Lauren? Yes? Do you think they'll notice I forgot a couple? No, not at all. Yeah, no, they, they won't even notice. It's fine.